Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we're going to once again be talking about Gas Mask. Now, a few people pointed out in the last video that I did about Gas Mask, I didn't have a bunch of details on it, and all of the stuff I did find online actually contained a bunch of contradictory information. So this Gas Mask, as I learned, is not the MSA Millennium per se, however it is a precursor to the MSA Millennium, to the point where most people actually tend to confuse the two, as I actually looked around a few pages, so it's not just me. A lot of the information I saw wasn't entirely correct, so this is actually the MCU-2P. As you can tell by the yellowish sort of face cover plate and the grain on everything. Computer, you better stop. I'm busy right now. So, with that all being taken care of, basically, the key difference between the two is actually I can go forward here. No! Obey me. I'm too lazy to edit the video. Yeah, we can go the MSA Millennium. As you'll be able to tell here in a second. The key difference is it's actually a sufficiently upgraded variant. Okay. Although it does have a lot of the similar design features and everything like that. So, it was a millennium. Basically, they changed everything from a gray and all that stuff to more of a black and a greenish. And they fixed the filter thing. The issue with the filter was the silicone actually tended to degrade. And the degrading silicone would turn into a yellowish color. However, it didn't necessarily affect the protective abilities. Now... People consider the Millennium to be more of a discounted version. Will you stop? This is my life. Every day. So, people consider the Millennium to be a discount version because it didn't come with these little voice piece and the microphone and everything. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and pop this back open. Now, the whole issue we got here, you can actually see degraded silicone cover and everything. Now, the Millennium actually does offer better protection. One of the key issues that they're considering, and this mask, mind you, entered service into like the early 1970s. So it's an old, old version mask. It was adopted by the Navy and Air Force, which is where it got its popularity and also why my, uh, one of my Air Force buddies actually owns one. But the king thing is, being adopted by the Navy and everything, they, have the, they don't do a lot of the shooting combat things per se. I know the Navy's got the SEALs, don't get me wrong. But the Air Force, although they get laughed at a lot, their main thing is they've, well, got very, very expensive planes and equipment to protect. So in the event that someone decides to hit a base with some sort of chemical agents and then try to steal planes, you got to have protection. And the Air Force has the most money to buy protection. Now, the main thing they wanted to do when they were moving from the older M17 gas mask was they wanted to basically have a mask we can share with our NATO allies. And NATO really likes their 40 millimeter, fil 40, 40 millimeter filters. For some reason, they're bulky and cumbersome and cause problems. They do make a little adapter hose so you can put the filter somewhere else so you have better visibility, but ultimately you're still going to have problems. Now, while the Navy and the Air Force did adopt this one, the Marine Corps and the Army went on to develop the M40 gas mask, which is the one I got to train with. And, well, train with anyway. It was pretty terrible. It still had the same 40 millimeter filter. The, it had, it's the one with the two little eye goggles, mind you. It reduces your visibility to like, well, I think this is like 52%. So you see half as much, and it's terrible, and it sucks, and it still has the same 40 millimeter breathing difficulties as this one had. Which, actually, when I hit my first unit out here in Okinawa, up on Hanson, we were one of the first units to get the uh, M50 gas mask, the brand, brand new one they just came out with. Well, just came out with at the time. It was like eight years ago now, but when they came out with it, it was really cool. And uh, it had the two little side click filters that you could take off and put back on. And yeah, the filters, you can actually see the little um, the, the little crazy tab, powdered tab thing in there that actually does all the filtering. And I remember because when they issued the gas mask, they're like, hey, you see this little filter thing here? Make sure that A, it doesn't change colors, and B, don't lick it. And if they're telling Marines not to lick something, either it's fantastically delicious and super expensive, or it's highly lethal and will die. So, right, I'm still here, so either it's delicious or I just didn't die, so we don't know. Anyway, it's a mystery. Mystery to this day, I'll never be solved. But, M50 gas mask was pretty cool. And yeah, basically, yeah, so in the tw in 2000 or whatever, with Saddam Hussein and everything, people are concerned with the M40s and these gas masks not stopping the chemical agents, particularly blistering agents. I'm not a NBC expert, mind you, by the way. I'm Otherwise, I would have got the mask right on the first nomenclature, but people have recommended combining the two articles for the Millennium and the 
MCU two B into one article B two one of the two and yeah but anyway gas mask are cool is basically what it comes down to yeah this one is an A by MSA we do have the nomenclature here on the side. So we know it's the same company, just a earlier version gas mask. That's not as cool and has the filter, the degradation thing. It does work though. The key issue they had with these filters, other than just being bulky, is that they kind of suck and they make breathing harder. The M50 with the dual filters that are their own custom little clippy version are actually way more efficient. And you can actually, on eBay, get one for about, I think I saw them going for like 150 bucks. How legal is that? Eh, I'm not in charge of eBay. But yeah, I mean, it's sketchy and they probably don't work, but M50 gas mask are cool. And they reduce filter size. Anyway, the moral of the story is, what I was going on with to begin with, is you still want a laser. A red dot optic will be easier to use on a weapon. But basically a laser, you're already going to have terrible visibility. This thing's going to fog up in seconds, as do all gas masks forever. But yeah, with a laser, you're able to, um, you know, kind of see what you're shooting at without having to look down the sights, which makes things a lot easier in a gas mask environment. And now, for your standard shits and giggles, I'm going to put this back on, because it's enjoyable. But yes, the real reason I brought the Air Force and everything I was making fun of them is it is still technically a combat gas mask. There's a few people who disagreed with that point. <sighs> yeah, you can you can definitely feel the labor breathing in this thing. It sucks. It totally sucks to have to wear a gas mask, and hopefully, outside of training purposes, you will never need a gas mask. Because I can't see, I don't have the inserts. They do sell the inserts. I found the inserts for this one once I started looking for the MC... I'll remember this, damn it! The MCUB2 to be or not to be, that is the question. Hold on. To be or not to be? I got this joke, I'm ready, I was ready. That is the question. This is... The guy who didn't have the gas mask, by the way. Damn it! I can't say! But yeah, so the moral of the story is... Gas mask, MTV, cool gas mask. It is a combat version, you can use the laser. And, what's, and again, the two guys who did bring this up to me, that it was not the Millennium, but also the identical precursor known as the MTV, not to be. MCU, to be. B2, Bama. Is that I was actually able to find the little inserts, which look absolutely ridiculous. But for like 30 bucks on the internet, I could put the little inserts in here and I'll be able to see and then I could actually play airsoft in this thing. And I could quite possibly die of asphyxiation. Because even though this is a brand new filter I put on here, it still sucks. And the gray is still more visible than a blackish green combination or whatever. But yeah, it was, anyway, cool. Cool stuff. But yeah, the gas mask. Gas mask in the history. The M50 is a lot better. Lighter weight, a big issue they had with these heavier filters and stuff is that just looking around really hard and if you bump into some, oh god, if you bump this filter you know what's gonna happen? As soon as you go to catch a wall or something oh no, what's this? I've broken the seal! The main thing you never want to do in a gas mask is break the seal so that's one of the big reasons why they got rid of it made everything lower profile and lighter and also improved its ability to stick to your face so that you can go and not die of terrible gases Ugh. So the moral of the story is, it helps to have a quality gas mask, and the M50 is better, but this is still a kind of cool gas mask, although I probably wouldn't really want to use this for too much. I mean, this is going to stop 6mm BBs at least, so it is airsoft capable, and I'm not going to get shot in the teeth because there's all this other nonsense here in the way. It's just ridiculously large, and I probably wouldn't want to play a game handicapping myself more than I already do with the uh, weighted plate carrier unless everyone is going to have similar handicaps so well the story is it's still easy enough to use a handgun I can still see down the sights and yeah so handguns probably best and then lasers and everything else for whatnot so gun spin that you should never do with a live firearm Go yourself. Anyway, so that's the moral of the story. That's everything I got for you guys. I just wanted to do an update and let you know. MCU B2. 2B. You know what? I can actually just pull this up on my phone. I was just looking at it. 
Save me, phone. Save me from the recoil. MCU 2P. So 2P or not 2P? That is a question of urinary analysis. P. I don't know why I thought B. Probably from too much near automatica. The TV being a popular character right now. Anyway, this is the good tonight. Wearing the obnoxious leopard print combat shirt. Going to work in the next half hour. So, hope you enjoyed this video. I do know my gas mask now. Although, I do remind you, I'm not a seabird expert. Do not. Just don't. Don't go throw it on a gas mask and run around in chemicals or mixing bleach and ammonia or some crazy nonsense. Don't do it. You will die. And a lot of the times, if you are able to get a gas mask as a civilian, it was generally discarded by the military because it doesn't work. So, hey. Keep that in mind. Even with an uh, actual gas mask, you still have like a 50% chance of surviving because it was probably decommissioned or some nonsense. So I was like, oh, well, if they're throwing it away, I'll sell it on eBay. Because people will do that. It's terrible. And then when something actually does go tragically wrong, you need a gas mask and you don't have one. Ah! Anyway, I'm getting tired of being Darth Vader over here. So, again, good tonight. Signing off. Cheers, everyone. Stay chivalrous.